What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video I have even more great news for those of you waiting for the A12, A13 and A14 jailbreak on iOS 14 all the way up to 14.4. So we got more news from the security researcher Pattern F who if you remember a couple of days ago posted this demo of their jailbreak tool working on iPhone 11 and so on. So basically on A12 devices and so on. So today we got a new post from them and they said quote iOS 14.1 iPhone 12 A12 plus device local privilege escalation exploit demo not a real jailbreak so basically this is not a full jailbreak yet but being a local privilege escalation exploit is basically what we need they say quote about the video I found an iPhone 12 that stayed on 14.1 from my co-worker I borrowed it and made a video so they demonstrate how they basically have the iPhone 12 and they run their exploit and it works this is basically making pretty good progress because as you can see here that's exactly what we need it's the exploit that we would need in order to be able to update the ODC jailbreak or even the Uncover. Now of course we don't know if Uncover will get updated since Pound Own didn't give any information about any plans to do that. However, ODC is very likely going to get updated when we're going to get this exploit. However, do keep in mind that the vulnerability exploited in this uh, video here also works on 14.4. The exploit itself may not work, it may need some adjustments, but the vulnerability itself is there so we could definitely update it. Now if you remember Coolstar also got the libhooker working properly on iOS 14.3 and lower. Even though they said in here 14.3 is no good, they confirmed it works. So as you probably know, Coolstar announced that everybody should stay on 14.3 or lower because these firmware are vulnerable and should be jailbreakable. And I mentioned in my previous video the fact that 14.3 RC or release candidate is still available. So how can you get it? Well, if you go here to ipsw.dev, you can definitely get them. Don't get them from ipsw.me because I'm not sure it's available or it shows as sign and so on. It only shows 14.4 here. But here on the ipsw.dev, you can definitely get them. So if you select iPhone here, for example, you have an iPhone 12 or let's say you have an iPhone 11, you press here and you should be able to find all the versions that are currently available and signed. For example, 14.5 has two builds, both of which are betas, 14.4 has the release one, and then 14.3 also has the RC available. So 14.3 RC2, uh, this one here, should be good to go, or if not that one, the RC here. So you can get the IPSW by just pressing download, or if you're on Chrome and the download button doesn't work because, you know, Chrome, right click and then save link as, and it will ask you if you want to save it. And make sure the format is IPSW or Apple device software update, or just just select all files and then save and you should get something like this that the IPSW can be downloaded securely. You press here and press keep. It's a problem with Chrome which basically makes it very very bad at downloading from HTTP links. It only wants from HTTPS. Anyways, you can download the beta and it's still signed so go ahead and do it right now. Because I don't think it's going to stay signed for so long considering that it's a beta and 14.4 is already out and two betas of the 14.5 are already out. So if you want to downgrade from 14.4 or if you want to upgrade from a lower version, 14.3 RC is what you want. Now you should also save your blobs with TSS Saver. You never know when it comes in handy because if you save them, you will be able to basically restore in the future with Future Restore if a jailbreak gets released. We do have pretty good jailbreak vulnerabilities here, so definitely keep your device where Coolstar recommends it and that's 14.3 and lower. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am GSNow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.